Hello everyone, today we will discuss about disorders of the thyroid gland. Disorders or abnormalities of the thyroid gland, they are either hyper or hyposecretion of thyroid hormones. Let us start with hyperthyroidism. Now, hyperthyroidism, it refers to increased secretion of thyroid hormones. Commonest causes for the hyperthyroidism, they are Graves disease, toxic nodular goiter, thyroid adenoma, thyroiditis and excess secretion of TSH. Let us start with Graves disease. It is also known as Bastos disease or toxic goiter. Here in Graves disease, what is etiology? It is an autoimmune disease and it is characterized by development of thyroid stimulating antibodies or they are also known as long acting thyroid stimulants. This thyroid stimulating antibodies or long acting thyroid stimulants they are produced by B lymphocytes. Now what is the mechanism of action of this thyroid stimulating antibodies? This antibodies they bind to TSH receptors which are present on the thyroid gland and their actions they are similar to TSH or you can say they mimic the action of TSH and what is the action of TSH that is to stimulate the thyroid gland and increase secretion of thyroid gland. So here thyroid gland is stimulated and the secretion increases. Normally what happens you can see here there is negative feedback mechanism TSH stimulates thyroid gland increases production of T3 and T4 hormones. In normal healthy individual when T3 T4 secretion increases there is negative feedback mechanism that decreases the TSH and therefore T3 T4 level becomes normal. But now this increased T3 T4 cannot inhibit this thyroid stimulating antibodies. And therefore, this thyroid stimulating antibodies, they continuously stimulate the thyroid gland and that results in hyperthyroidism. Now we discuss about signs and symptoms of Graves disease or hyperthyroidism. General features, they are marked increase in the basal metabolic rate. And as the basal metabolic rate increases, there is increased production of heat. And therefore, the person is having heat intolerance. Along with that, with increase in the basal metabolic rate, there is increase in the appetite. And in spite of increased appetite, the person is having weight loss. Another clinical feature of Graves disease that is goiter. Goiter refers to swelling of the thyroid gland. And here in Graves disease, there is diffuse goiter. Other symptoms are related with cardiovascular system there is increase in the heart rate and increase in the pulse rate sleeping pulse rate it is one of the diagnostic feature of hyperthyroidism what about blood pressure there is increase in the systolic blood pressure and the person is having high cardiac output failure diastolic blood pressure decreases that is because of peripheral vasodilatation. Effects of hyperthyroidism on the nervous system. The person is having emotional instability, anxiety, nervousness, irritability and insomnia that is cannot be able to sleep. Also the person is having fatigue and fine tremors. Certain other neuromuscular features, they are muscle weakness and exaggerated tendon reflexes. Also, the person shows thyrotoxic myopathy. Digestive system symptoms. The person is having increased appetite and digestive system motility is increased. In spite of increased appetite and motility, there is weight loss. Dermatological features, the person is having increased sweating, loss of hair, there is vasodilatation and that results in warm, moist, soft and red skin. 
reproductive system in hyperthyroidism there is amenorrhea means absence of menstruation or oligomenorrhea that is decreased menstruation other symptoms include abortion and infertility in females protein metabolism there is negative nitrogen balance because of excessive metabolism effect on carbohydrate metabolism there is increase in the glucose absorption glucose breakdown also increases and there is increase gluconeogenesis gluconeogenesis means production of glucose from non glucose sources and this all results in increase in the blood sugar level fat metabolism there is mobilization of fat from the adipose tissue for utilization and therefore free fatty acid level in the blood increases vitamin metabolism vitamins they are used for the formation of enzymes and as we have discussed metabolism increases and therefore requirement of enzymes increases and vitamins they are used for making enzymes and therefore there is deficiency of vitamins blood there is increase in erythropoiesis thyroxine increases erythropoiesis ophthalmic signs there is lid retraction upper lid is retracted and it produces staring look it is also known as dalrymple sign lid lag that is lid is lagging behind when the person tries to close the eye palpebral fissure becomes wide and exophthalmos that is protrusion of eyeball exophthalmos is due to retroorbital edema as well as various degenerative changes they occur in the extraocular muscle what are the effects of exophthalmos because of protrusion of eyeball there is damage to the optic nerve and that results in blindness person cannot be able to close the eyes properly and that results in ulceration of cornea investigation in a case of hyperthyroidism level of free t3 and t4 that is increased plasma thh is reduced radioactive uptake of iodine that is increased in case of graves disease antibodies they are detected against thyroid gland serum cholesterol level increases ecg shows tachycardia and arrhythmia and ultrasonography of thyroid gland shows diffuse goiter treatment modalities anti thyroid drugs are given this drugs they block the iodination of tyrosine and therefore the decrease synthesis of thyroid hormone common anti thyroid drugs they are thiocyanates thiocyanates they inhibit iodide trapping by the thyroid gland and they act by competitive inhibition other group of drugs they are propyl thioracil and methimazole this drugs they inhibit oxidation of the iodide into iodine and also they inhibit coupling of iodo tyrosine to form t3 and t4 one can also give high concentration of iodides beta blockers they are given for the symptomatic relief surgical subtotal thyroidectomy is also advisable that is thyroid gland is removed and sometimes radioactive ablation of the thyroid gland is the way of treatment next thyroid disorder that is hypothyroidism which is also known as gulls disease hypothyroidism that is a clinical syndrome caused by decreased level of circulating thyroid hormones what are the causes for hypothyroidism they are either primary or secondary primary causes include idiopathic that is no known cause is there the cause may be autoimmune 
that is Hashimoto thyroiditis also may be because of iodine deficiency in the diet drugs they may also produce hypothyroidism after operation also hypothyroidism results and maternally transmitted hypothyroidism also is one of the cause secondary causes are because of disease of anterior pituitary or hypothalamus and decrease in the secretion of tsh and trh that results in decreased production of thyroid hormones clinical features of hypothyroidism clinical features they depend on the age infantile hypothyroidism it is also known as cretinism and if it is adult hypothyroidism it is known as myxedema let us start with cretinism cretinism as we have discussed that is infantile hypothyroidism so what is the age of onset it occurs when thyroid deficiency occurs during first year of life what are the commonest causes for cretinism if there is maternal iodine deficiency child may be having cretinism maternal antithyroid antibodies also produces cretinism in the child fetal thyroid dysgenesis which means congenital malformation or absence of the thyroid gland and fetal hypopituitary hypothyroidism pituitary gland of the fetus is not developed clinical features of cretinism the baby is normal at birth because maternal thyroid hormones are present in the circulation but the movements are sluggish slow movements milestones are delayed milestone means certain changes or certain learning that takes place in the baby after birth for example the baby starts holding the head baby starts recognizing the known individuals these all are milestones this milestones are delayed and if it is not treated that results in mental retardation because thyroid hormones are important for the development of nervous system there is retardation of skeletal and soft tissue growth but skeletal growth retardation is more as compared to soft tissue retardation and this is the reason why the cretin child is having pot belly let me explain because the height is stunted skeletal growth is retarded but soft tissues like spleen liver intestine they all are normal and therefore the baby or the child is having protruded abdomen and sometimes intestine or other abdominal organs they herniate that is umbilical hernia because of skeletal growth retardation tongue is protruded and the child is having guttural breathing because tongue obstructs the respiratory tract adult hypothyroidism which is also known as myxedema general features there is decrease in the basal metabolic rate and therefore heat production is reduced because of decrease in the basal metabolic rate there is weight gain and there is decrease in the body temperature that results in intolerance to cold cardiovascular system shows bradycardia and hypertension that is because of increase in the serum cholesterol level nervous system effects they are there is lethargy intellectual functions they are lost the person is having psychosis somnolence that is excessive sleepiness memory is impaired neuromuscular features they are delayed relaxation of the ankle jerk and there is pressure palsy of the peripheral nerves commonly affected that is radial nerve so the person may have carpal tunnel syndrome dermatological features skin is stored skin sparse hair and the person is having non pitting type of edema digestive system motility decreases and there is constipation 
reproductive system effects menorrhagia that is excessive menstruation and infertility sometimes galactoria that is presence of milk secretion in absence of pregnancy and impotence hematological features as we discussed thyroid hormones they stimulate erythropoietin here thyroid hormone concentration decreases therefore there is decrease erythropoiesis and anemia goiter may be present voice changes there is hoarseness of the voice it is also one of the diagnostic feature here another diagnostic feature for hypothyroidism is myxedema there is a puffing of the face and the edema is non pitting type we cannot make a pit and commonly periorbital swelling is present causes of hypothyroidism commonest causes are autoimmune thyroiditis may be because of severe iodine deficiency in the diet that is known as endemic goiter and third that is iatrogenic after surgery or any other intervention now autoimmune thyroiditis which is also known as hashimoto thyroiditis which is the common cause for hypothyroidism here also it is autoimmune disease so auto antibodies are produced but this auto antibodies are produced against thyroglobulin and therefore there is decrease in the synthesis and release of thyroid hormone and that results in hypothyroidism now investigation in a case of hypothyroidism serum t3 and t4 level is low and serum tsh level increases serum cholesterol also increases peripheral blood film shows anemia photomotogram it shows delayed ankle jerk treatment modality hypothyroidism is treated with the replacement of thyroid hormone by l thyroxine next is goiter simply goiter means enlargement of thyroid gland goiter is associated with either u thyroid state that is normal thyroid hormone level hypothyroid state decreased thyroid hormone level or hyperthyroid state that is increased thyroid hormone level now hypothyroidism and goiter what are the causes of hypothyroidism and goiter it is due to intake of goitrogenic substances certain substances they produce goiter if we take those substances in the diet that results in goiter and another cause that is iodine deficiency in the diet let us discuss goitrogenic substances are the substances they interfere with the production of thyroid hormone and they cause goiter they are thiocyanates nitrates percolates thiourea thiouracil thiocarbamide certain plant food like cabbage cauliflower turnips they also have this goitrogenic substances another cause as we have discussed that is iodine deficiency in the diet that also causes goiter and this is known as endemic colloid goiter what is the mechanism when dietary intake of iodine is less than 10 micrograms per day that results in decrease in the synthesis of thyroid hormone and when thyroid hormone synthesis decreases negative feedback inhibition of this thyroid hormone on the tsh is lost and therefore tsh concentration and tsh secretion increases now this tsh stimulates thyroid gland for the production of thyroid hormone but we don't have iodine and therefore the gland is enlarged without increase in the production of thyroid hormone next is hyperthyroidism and goiter toxic nodular goiter here multiple or single nodules are present in the thyroid gland and secretion of large amount of thyroid hormone takes place from this nodules there is no evidence of any autoimmune diseases so this is all about disorders of thyroid gland thank you